Hey guys, so today we are going to cover the character walk cycle. The walk cycle is a big deal in animation because it encompasses many of the principles of animation and depending on the style of the walk, it can implement all the principles of animation. In the walk cycle, four key poses are needed. The contact pose, the down pose, the passing pose and the up pose. Let's look at each of these in detail. The contact pose. This is the first pose drawn by most animators. This is where both feet are in contact with the ground. The legs would be extending and the arms would be at medium swing. The passing pose. Although it's not the second pose in sequence, we usually draw the passing pose after the contact pose. In the passing pose, one foot is flat on the ground while the other is lifted. Hence, both feet are passing to the next contact pose. The down pose or the recoil pose. The third pose to be drawn is the down pose. The down pose is between the contact and the passing pose. This pose gives the illusion of weight to the character. The character here is at his lowest point in the cycle because this is where you'll find the largest knee bend on the leg making contact with the ground. The up pose or the high point. This is the opposite of the down pose where the head reaches at its highest point because the leg which is making contact with the ground is extending usually on the toes with the greatest knee bend on the raised leg. In the up and down poses of the walk, you'll find the head at its highest and lowest. This makes the character's walk less robotic and adds life to the character. When these poses are added, the weight of the character is more distinct to the viewer. Let's look at this animation now. Notice the up and down motion of that character. Hmm. But wait a minute. Something seems off. Oh, I know. The first four poses should be repeated on the opposite side. We have a left and a right leg. So, for the walk cycle to be complete, the same poses need to be added to the opposite side. Notice that the limbs towards the back are darker. I purposely put it that way so that you guys can differentiate between the front limbs and the back limbs. This also adds depth to your composition. In the walk cycle, notice that the body will appear to move in a wave-like motion if the character was walking across the screen. More life, more interesting action, you know? Now, let's add the background. The majority of walk cycles, believe it or not, would involve the background moving, not the character. So basically, the character would be walking like he or she is on a treadmill. And the background is the element which is moving left or right. Let's check it out. Oops, <laughs> I got the background moving in the wrong position. <laughs> Some of you might make that mistake as well. Okay, here is the correct direction. And there you have it. A walk cycle. So guys, see you next time when we will cover the run cycle. Stay safe guys.